Welcome to our Opinion Niger News Highlight. It's a platform where we bring you a bit of some of the things happening around. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel, Opinion Niger TV. If you are already a subscriber, we appreciate you. You can also visit our blog, OpinionNiger.com and catch up with some of the things happening across the nation and beyond. Now moving straight to the news, we have still on the scarcity of the Naira notes and the untold hardship Nigerians have been facing. It is now getting to another dimension as the inability for citizens to get their money at the banks is beginning to develop into something else. In this video is a bank in Delta State whose staff were beginning to escape by scaling the fence just to avoid the rot of the angry citizens outside waiting to get their money which they are unable to get. The bank staffs were heard calling the police to come and rescue them from any possible consequence and unfortunate situation. Watch the video and see. Alima, gently, Shogbo. Gently, 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 just move gently. Gently, don't be scared. Don't be scared, nothing. Just chop your leg, gently. Uh -huh. Bele. Okay. Hmm? The Delta Patrol team don't come. Neka, the Delta Patrol team, where are they? Hey, where are they? Uh, let me then, they there now. Let them come first. Let them come. Where are they? And they need to be here. No, the Delta Hawk patrol team, they don't come. Mopo, they are Delta Hawk soldiers, they don't come. They don't come. They don't come. Delta Hawk don't come. No, the number base go see there now. Oh yeah, now go now. Make one day fast. This kind of thing have to be fast. Okay. You don't need to be slow, 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 fast, fast. They're not fear enter. Relax, just they do what you they do. They can't go in. The major thing is for us to go through that place. Go, go. Just go gently. See, there's no time. Just go, 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 go. You are safe. Just go gently. Eh? Eh, hey, hold on. They look us for us. But then they look now. Who cares? They don't see person. They don't see now. They don't say anything. Just go. They don't say anything. They don't say where? go, they go, go, go. No, we feel carry, gonna carry, gonna carry this thing. We feel even carry something. Say, gently, Neka. Neka, gently. Neka, here, yeah, you'd have given that the bag. Yeah, you That's try, sir. Careful. Where the Delta Hawk? Yeah. Carry that in, eh? How you want to turn them upside down, Abi? Wait, turn the thing. Alright, moving on to the next story here. Like Naira notes, like fuel, they both have two things in common right now. Scarcity. As the scarcity of petroleum products begins to linger on in Benin City and the hardship is causing on the people, the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has approved the constitution of the Edo State Petroleum Monitoring Committee to address the scarcity and the overpricing of petroleum products in the state. A statement by the Secretary to the State Government, Saudan Oge, says the committee is made up of the representatives of the Commissioner for Mining and Energy, Civil Society Organizations, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, 
Lupeng, Department of State Service, Nigerian Police Force, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Edo State Public Works Volunteers, Edo State Security Network, Public Service Joint Negotiating Council, Nigerian Union of Journalists and Hostcom. According to the statement, the committee is charged to ensure synergy among relevant stakeholders to ensure quick and sustainable resolution to the lingering fuel crisis that is bedeviling the state and the Nigerian people in general. Alright, moving on to the next story right here is the EFCC chairman Bawa Abdul Rashid who has been sentenced to jail by the Ikogi State High Court in Nukuja that ordered the arrest and remand of the EFCC chairman Abdul Rashid Bawa in Kuje prison for disobeying a court order. Justice Rukayat Ayola in his judgment on Monday, February 6th also directed the Inspector General of Police to ensure compliance because the EFCC boss committed contempt of the court. The judge ruled that Bawa should be remanded for the next 14 days for disobeying a court ruling delivered on November 30th, 2022, wherein he was directed to produce the applicant in the case of Ali Bello. Counsel to the applicant, Sumaila Abbas, had dragged Bawa to court for arresting and detaining Bello illegally, with the court ruling in his favor, only for the EFCC to arrange him for alleged money laundry three days after the ruling. But EFCC's application for setting aside a stay of execution of the ruling were refused for lack of merit. This is where we'll be drawing the curtain for now until we come your way again another time. You can subscribe to our channel, Opinion Ninja TV, for our subsequent videos. Bye for now.